Hey folks, Logan here at Duncan's Boats and today we're going to talk about uncovering and covering your boat back up with what's traditionally called a bow well and cockpit snap cover. Uh, as we go through this, I'm going to point out a few important things, but uh, let's get right to it. Now, uh, first thing I am going to note is when you are taking the snaps off, we want to make sure to try to get as close to the snap and pop it on off. Uh, if you try to just rip the whole thing off, that will work for a while, but eventually the fabric around the snaps will start to give way and then you'll just be left with a bunch of holes in it. Now a lot of uh, these newer boats, the manufacturers now, uh, to get to make sure to get a nice taunt fit right here, uh, they're putting these nice little elastic bands, makes it a lot easier uh, to take off and especially get back on and make sure to get a good fit. And again, just going to go around the back, uncovering. Uh, now here, I like to sort of work my way back and forth from side to side. And what that allows me to do is to sort of roll up the cover here so that when we go to put it back on, it's just a little bit easier. Now I got my cockpit cover all off right here except these front little snaps. And at this point, again, we kept roll rolling the cover up. Uh, now I can just sort of fold it up, make it nice and neat to put away. So let's just set this to the side for now, and uh, we're going to go ahead and go up here and, and roll the front. One thing to note, uh, with these covers on a hot day like it is today, a lot of your metal and stuff will be um, pretty warm, so be careful where you're touching. Depending on the size of your boat, the front one sometimes I'll just grab here by the middle pole, right where it snaps. Just sort of fold it up nice and neat. Last thing to do is to store them away. Uh, try to store them in a nice big ski locker or somewhere where you got plenty of room. Ideally that's going to stay dry throughout the day. Uh, but best is if you do have the space or uh, take it off before you leave the house, leave it at home in the garage somewhere nice and dry. So now we're done for the day and it's time to put on the cover. Uh, one thing to remember though, it is important to make sure the boat is dry on the inside uh, before you put on the cover. So many folks are good about putting on the cover, but some forget to let the boat dry completely out. Uh, so just keep that in mind, there's no harm in letting the boat sit out for a few, uh, a few hours while the boat dries. But uh, let's go ahead and start putting the cover on. At this point, we're going to go ahead and close the windshield. Uh, depending on the boat and the manufacturer, uh, sometimes the snaps will be on the top, sometimes the snaps will be on the bottom. Uh, but we want to make sure to snap those up first. One key point here, I do not put up my pole until I get the snaps on. That makes putting the snaps on better and then make sure we get a nice good um, raise of the front cover. Now you'll notice how, how it has almost looks like a tent, nice good uh, flow and stuff like that. Know that uh, as the seasons change, it gets hot, cold, back to hot again, stuff like that, uh, your cover will actually just very small, but it will uh, shrink or expand. So. Uh, whether we get a big, uh, big temperature change or even sometimes a big, big rainfall, sometimes you will go have to come down here and adjust the height of your pole. We're going to go ahead and put on the cockpit cover. Most manufacturers will have some sort of tag or something signifying the uh, front center actually on both the bow and the cockpit cover. Uh, this particular one has the Velcro here too as well, uh, is a good indicator that that's the center as well. So let's go ahead and put it on.
Many boat, boats will have multiple hole, holes here for the back. And uh, what I like to do is actually mark on the poles one, two, three, however many poles you have. That way you know they're all at the right height and the right place. Now that I'm here at the place to put my first pole in, uh, I actually like to snap one or two snaps past where your pole snap is going to be. That just makes putting those snaps on the side of the cover just a little bit easier. So now we got the cover on and you guys are good for the day. Uh, two things to note there on maintenance with these covers. First off, and especially here uh, in the coastal uh, saltwater areas, it's important to use something called a snap stick or a snap and zipper uh, wax, lubricant, stuff like that. Essentially, it's a really large chapstick wax. And uh, what's recommended once every few months, go ahead and dab that around on all your snaps. Uh, just adds a layer of protection to uh, stop from corrosion and stuff like that. The other thing too is uh, I always recommend once a year, go ahead, take your covers just as they're out like this and uh, take some rain repellent spray and go ahead and spray that on. Tip comes a little spray bottle, just spray it on. And what that does, it keeps uh, that cover nice and repellent so that when water does uh, rain, it beads up and rolls down. And uh, so this is Logan here with Duncan's Boats. Thanks for watching our video on bow well and cockpit snap-on covers. Happy boating and have fun out there in the water, guys.